Hi, I'm Mario Guerra, and I'm here with my co-host, uh, Eric Pierce, and a little somber now for this episode. We're going to make it short, but we're going to make it reflective, and thank you for listening in on Talking Downy with Mario and Eric. Um, Eric, we thought we'd have this quick um uh, this quick uh, podcast because we wanted to show our reflection for we lost a friend today this mm-hmm. week all of us lost a friend this week on there in passing of Vince Coley uh, where were you Mario when, when you heard the news you know what's interesting it came it buzzed over my phone I was on a zoom meeting uh, from church and it came on my phone on there and then I literally looked up I can feel I, I can't believe I'm feeling it now. I can feel my eyes watering, and it's, we all lost somebody in our family. Yeah. You know, yeah. how about you? Um, I, I was home. I was uh, I was on, on my bed. I was watching the Dodger game. Uh, uh, they they were playing the Giants, and that's when uh, it was uh, Joe Davis uh, broke the news, and yeah. uh, they had an image on there. You know, the, the breaking news and. It was just so. It was so sudden. It was just kind yeah. of. Uh, it came out of left field. Yeah, and 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 then we we text each other, you, me, and a couple of our friends, yeah. and we started texting ourselves. So, um, so what hasn't been said this week about Vince Scully? I yeah. think what we wanted to just show a, a short podcast, kind of what our feelings are, uh, what our thoughts are, and how how this has impacted our community on there. Yeah. So Eric, tell us about a little bit about your thoughts and your relationship with Vince Scully. You know, it, it's tough to say anything that hasn't already been said. Yeah. But but my memories go back to the you know the, the mid eighties, and I, I remember um, my parents immigrated here uh, from Mexico, and it was me, my older brother, my younger brother. Uh, we were living in uh, in, a, in a tiny uh, one, one bedroom, uh, one bedroom home, but I, and it's you know it was tiny, but back then it didn't feel tiny. But I remember we would have the Dodger game on, on TV, mm-hmm. and it would be me and my brothers and uh, and my dad, and it was Vince Scully talking, yeah. and we would we would watch the games, the Dodger games, and it felt, you know that that's what we did in the summertime, you mm-hmm. know, and I remember the big orange. 76 sign and we didn't go to many games but we watched it we watched it on tv and so i feel like my childhood which is it it feels like it was narrated by vin scully it was was his the sweet grandpa on tv talking talking baseball and when you're a little kid you know it's it's hard to to keep somebody to keep their attention on baseball but Vince Scully just made it so soothing, and oh, yeah. how many times did we fall asleep listening to Vince Scully on, on you know, calling in a game, and it, it, it was really tough, you know. I felt, it, it's strange because I didn't feel a lot of sadness. I, I felt, I was not being sad, but it was almost a feeling of, of gratitude yeah. that we got to, to live you know, while he was commentator, and we, we were just blessed to have him in in our lives, and yeah. I'm just really lucky and just so grateful for him. What a remarkable life he's led, and you're right. He was in everybody's living room. So I remember my dad used to take me to Dodger games, and of course, you know, they, we, you and I have been in several ball games together mm-hmm. uh, from our seats, but we would have a malt. And back then, when a lot of people had the little transistor radios, mm-hmm. but there were so many throughout the stadium mm-hmm. that you could hear, mm-hmm. you know, and we, weren't, we couldn't afford it or didn't have one on there, but you, you were there for all the games, and of course, all the Dodger games, it was on every single night the same way. So it was the generation with my dad, and then I took my kids, okay, and now I started taking my grandkids, and thank goodness my grandkids were around long enough out there. I mean, Vinny's been, you know, retired for several years, but they still got to see that. So yeah. there's nothing, you know this, we have to have a malt by the third inning in a Dodger game. Uh, but it is, he's just part of our family. Um, and, and again, you, everybody said it, the storytelling, the good person. Uh, a good friend of mine, Father Steve, uh, used to do the masses there on Sundays before the Sunday games that specifically for Vinny and mm-hmm. some other Catholics that were there. So he went to mass every Sunday there. And he at was Dodger there Stadium. at Dodger Stadium. I didn't know that. Yeah, Father Steve. And Father Steve was there last week when 
when he was passing, and I don't know, but most likely he'll be doing his funeral. Um, but anyways, he was a good Catholic. Um, he belonged to um, the parish in, in Venice. Uh, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of its name, but I know it really well. Very nice place. But he was a regular Catholic going um, um, uh, parishioner. Um, so it just came across, we were just talking about it, I sent it to you. So one of the things about Vin Scully is that he can interact those life lessons and those stories and, and he can get away with it because he had street cred and so forth. So there's a great uh, video that I just uh, posted that somebody had sent me. It was about Vin Scully talking about socialism. I mean, so Vince Scully to talk about socialism, but the video, he's, you know, right in the middle of a play or at the end of the play, and he runs over to third base and, you know, strike two called on the batter. And then we're talking about socialism. You know, socialism, you know, you get too many things for free. And of course, the only ones that make out are the rich people and blah, 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 and everybody, the whole thing. And then, and he continues and then ball two, you know, and then he, he only Vince Scully can get away with talking about socialism between plays, and it just made sense because he was Uncle Vinny, right. and he was respected, and we had no no issues that he and and you commented back that he could get away with it because he didn't do that very often. Mm -hmm. So he did pick his life lessons for all of yeah. us and so forth. He was so talented, and you know, you don't see one person booths anymore in baseball. It's yeah. always an analyst, a color commentator. You see two, three people going back and forth. Vin was just Vin. He was by he didn't yeah. need anybody else. He was he he handled it and it, it was just so special. Yeah, yeah. You know, I tell you, um I've met I've been blessed to meet a lot of, you know, famous people and so forth. I met him twice. I didn't get a picture taken with him because I yeah. was too you know, I don't know, embarrassed to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm hearing all the stories, I guess people asked a lot and he was very humble in, in yeah. allowing their wanting that and he told, told several people, listen, you know, you gotta start worrying when they don't want your picture. But I never had the guts to ask him and of course yeah. I wish and like everybody else that we had one. But I would be yeah. afraid to bother him, you know. I, yeah. I don't want to bother him. I know, <laughs> but I'll tell you, uh, what a great man, a great tribute, a great Dodger. We're Dodger fans here. Um, and um, obviously this is a I, you kind of forgot, you knew that it was going to come to an end yeah. someday because obviously God bless him, he's 94. But uh, I was sad, but yet smiling because yeah. it's Finney. And it, it's the end of an era. You know, yeah. that's one reason I think we're also sad. It's, yeah. it's a part just of our like lives Tommy. ended. Just yeah. like Tommy Lasorda, yeah. and now you got Vince Scully. So the one thing about the Dodgers, you're right, there'll be a, never be another Vinny. Uh, I, I'm almost embarrassed to say Vinny because that's like too mm -hmm. informal. It's Mr. Scully or Vin. Yeah. But I'm glad that the history and the legacy of the LA Dodgers will continue. We have so many great people that mm -hmm. like that that have lived on. I mean, again, there, there'll never be another Vin Scully. Uh, but you have when you see some of our veterans, you see some of the people that you know that are part of that heritage. People right. want to come to the Dodgers. The Dodger family. The Dodger family, yeah. I saw you know, I saw the game the other day, you know, Sandy Koufax is still there. Sandy Koufax is kind of like this legendary, like, oh my God, did he really ever exist? And it's like, mm -hmm. he's still going to the games. Yeah. You know, he looks great, by the way. He, he, he's so we have that. several players like we that. Do. So anyway, we, we just wanted to have a little discussion. This is a, a little short episode uh, about Vince Scully, what he meant to us. How important he was to not only us, our community. Only he can get away with, you know, making a comment about, you know, Fernando, throw your sombrero in the air. Okay, that wasn't a cultural thing. That was a, a, a you know, a, a respect thing. He made something about, you know, one of our Japanese American players, and again, it was a respect thing. But only Vinny can get away with that. That people in today's culture won't take it and be offended by that. Mm -hmm. You know, when I remember Fernando threw the perfect game, you know, throw your sombreros in the air because he has done it. And if we said that today, like, oh, my God, you're racist against Mexican people or something. I don't know. People, you know, <laughs> Vince came from, from a very honest and pure place, yeah. you know, and I think that's what made him so special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is part of his Hall of Fame inductee. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing when he, uh, when he got the call from President Obama to be get the Medal of Freedom, Medal the United States Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. And uh, he says, do you know that I'm just a humble uh, baseball announcer, yeah. you know? It's kind of like, but again, that's that's what made him great. Absolutely. So, anyway. So, Bowen, any further thoughts? No, uh, 
God bless him. We're going to miss him, and thank you. Thank you for Financial Partner for being our sponsor. Thanks for listening. This has been Talking Downey with Mario and Eric.